Welcome back to the channel, Ajayden Chase. And if you're new, remember to like, to share, and also to subscribe. Now, Philip Pauli revealed that had his baby mother, Leoda Bradshaw, not taken the life of his other baby mother and his daughter, Saraya Powell, she would be celebrating her first birthday today. Well, her one year old birthday today. And based upon the way I'm writing the caption, I feel like Philip Paul will take it so well. And keep in mind, the mother of his other daughter take the life of him other baby mother and him other daughter. I know something people can do say, yo, yeah, man. I understand what I go through. No. You have never been through a situation like that. And of course, condolences to the family of Miss Patterson. A hard-working Jamaican. A university graduate. One of the citizens who would say, I'm going to make the country better. I'm a baby. They have all the potential in the world. Could I grow up, come be anybody. Talk to me in the comment section. And tell me what you think. Now, Andre Stevens has also apologized to anybody he says that he has offended. Let me go to your one, they will continue the reasoning. Look and listen. There's one day to go on to stop get the pork in. I'm one person. Shelly Koran, you know about mental health, but you will never stop. So, I stop Shelly Koran. So when will you stop? I stop Wayne Forbes. When will you stop? To everybody who I have offended, I have now stopped. Will you stop? Me stop, me sit down. Me sit down now. Sit down. Me sit down. Me go take some break. And me go rest. Only give me some break now. Only give me a break now. Before me become suicidal, me just ask. For one break. I'm me alone. Me not have no friend around me. Me not have no mother around me. Me not have no family. I'm me alone in my house. Before me test them, I tell no. Me I ask them to give me one break. Me tired. Me tired. Me really tired. I want to come back. I want to smile again. I want to depend on YouTube and laugh and I say bangarang. 
We can't even say bangarang these days. I beg you know, when you take my YouTube channel, when you take my content, last suit I come from, last suit, I don't have no money, I don't have nothing. I want to make, I want to sell my little sauce them and make one little money for pay my rent at one time and can't live. I want to go and do the things that I normally do. I want to hustle my tie them, go hustle my socks them and be by myself. Goodbye. Now also making headlines today. Not only was Noel Maitland's request denied, other officers have also been exposed on social media. Not relating to the charges being brought against Noel Maitland, was just being exposed on social media overall. Remember when they go on they will continue the reasoning. Look and listen. Noel Maitland was a constable of police and an in-demand music producer up to the time of his arrest for the murder of Donnelly Donaldson. He lived comfortably in a New Kingston apartment and appeared to be a man who had weight in his wallet. But according to Donaldson's attorney Chadwick Berry, Maitland's experience in police custody since his arrest has been nightmarish. Maitland has been living in a jail cell for 462 days. Mr. Berry told the court that conditions were so unsanitary in jail that Maitland's skin is covered in blotches and patches. Maitland was also heard telling his attorney that he feared he was developing blood clots as well. The accused policeman appeared in court wearing a gray shirt, a pair of white shorts and slippers. He seemed cheerful and in good spirits. He was seen smiling and whispering to court staff. The prosecution told the court that its case against the accused constable was still not ready to proceed. The plea and case management hearing was therefore postponed to November 15, when a renewed bail application will also be made on his behalf. Presiding Judge Vinette Graham Allen indicated that the court would deal with Maitland's alleged health concerns at that time. The judge suggested that Maitland's appearance in shorts and t-shirt was a defense tactic intended to show off the patches on his skin. Despite pleas from defense counsel, she maintained that the matter would be dealt with on November 15 when a medical journal would be made available to the court. Donnelly Donaldson was reported missing on July 13. Her body has still not been found. However, the police have concluded that Donaldson was killed on July 12, sometime between 4 p.m. and 8 p.m. Her mother, Sophia Log, has repeatedly pleaded for information on the location of her daughter's body. Robian Williams for Nationwide News. <laughs> Now, if you're new to the channel, just a pass through, well, click the subscribe icon and then the bell icon, and of course, put it on all. And this is how you now will be notified of all fresh content as soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here upon the platform. The like icon is also in close proximity to the share icon. Drop a like and bust a share. And tell a friend, tell a friend, tell them sister and them brother them for check out the channel, check out the reasoning. And also join the discussion, the comment section on 24-7. It never lock yet. Just be respectful and mindful of the guidelines. But other than that, drop your thoughts, your comments and yes, your opinions there. And we can continue the reasoning via the comment section. 
And until the reason again, my sentiments for you and yours, I'm going to live love and prosper. I'm going to stay tuned.